Hello, I'm Ethan from 3030Toby. I changed my uh, nickname to Under Construction because my mom didn't approve of the other one. So anyway, I was going to do a, I was, well today I decided to be a critic for something. It's called the Digital Blue. Uh, wait, let me get it. Come on. Oh yeah, there. Wait. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, that is it. I was looking at that computer. Yep, that's the digital blue camera. And then there is the digital blue editing. So anyway, I'm going to focus on me, and then you can see what special effects you can do. Well, anyway, first of all, there is this. The, uh, stop motion animation thing. So you take that to take the pictures on me, and then you take, you click that when you're done with the video. So anyway. Then there is this. I like this because it can change it can change the uh, color or brightness for the uh, uh, for the when you're filming. So anyway, I'm gonna change this to make everything darker and stuff. It looks like I'm wearing lipstick. Anyway, I'm gonna change that back. And then you can change the color of yourself. Alright, here, let me show you something else. Alright, like this. Well, uh, oh yeah, there, okay. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, and this is cool. What the heck? Wait. Okay, here, actually, I'm just gonna focus on this CD. Right here. There, alright, so it's gonna look different. So right now it's actually blue, but it looks red. And it looks purple now. Then it looks pink. I mean dark purple, then red. So you can change it up a lot. Alright, it's back to normal. Then you can also change up how light it is. And then you can make it darker for a nighttime scene. So I'm gonna change that back. I think it was, ah, that would make it lighter, alright, that looks good, and then this, I really don't know what this is, it makes it look weird, it makes it look like night vision, but I don't think it is, so anyway, you can just hit that to make it look all better, so anyway, I'm gonna make a movie of myself right here, alright, so, uh, hey, okay, okay, so here, wait, What the? Okay, here. Then, oh wait, wait for that to. Okay, and everything's. The camera's not responding. Oh great! I always have to have a problem. Just wait. Okay. Well, I'll just show you what you can do. Oh, okay, it's working. All right. So anyway, here's the video of me. I'm just gonna. Hello, I am Ethan. My older, my little brother is Aaron, and I have my mom. And then I have my pets and stuff. That's all about my life. All right. So I'm done with that. I am going to look at hit here and see if I approve of it. Hello, I am Ethan. My older, my little brother is Aaron, and I have my mom. And then add my text. That's all about the Alright, so there it is. Now it's in it's in temporary. So if you shut down digital blue, it'll get rid of it. So if you want to transfer it to permanent when you exit digital blue, it'll stay there. So I'm gonna transfer that to permanent. And then here, there it is. Now if you want to do special effects. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Digital Blue, it's not the best in quality because it was made a while ago. It can't work for Windows Vista or Windows or Windows 7, but it can work for Windows XP and any and a lot of stuff below it. So anyway, it's great for beginning movie makers. So anyway, here. Here it is. The here's where you edit everything. So right on there, you can 
put in anything you want. I'm gonna put in alien creep. So here. Alright, you are about to see it. Hello, I need this. And then you can also, if you have a gun in it, you if you have a gun in your movie, you can add in a laser shot. And then you can also add in faces. Okay. And some stuff that I don't like about these effects is they really don't look too real. And they don't have the best sound effects either. So anyway, you can also add in some sounds. Now, in my training Aiden movies, uh, just wait. Oh, uh, darn This is what it looks like. Alright, so you can do that. Now I'm going to get rid of the alien creep. <laughs> Okay, alien creep. Hey, get rid of All right, I can, I'm just gonna do that. So anyway, I'm do, you can like in my move in my videos training Aiden. I add in um this for when we use the force. It's teleport. It doesn't t sound too real, but it that's what it's like. So anyway. Also, when we take out our lightsabers in the movie, we use whoosh. Oh, I need uh, actually, yeah, that's what it sounds like. So anyway, when you are adding, when you want to add in sounds to your stop motion animation, you click this, that red thing, and then you go to that, and then this pops up. You just hit record. Uh, hello, hello, hello. hello I need it. Then you can listen to it to see if you approve of it. And then you type in the name of it, the name of your speech there, and then you click check or X if you if you want to go back. So then right here, this is for all all the credits and everything. So if you want to add in typing stuff, you just click that right there. And then you can type in whatever you want. Alright, so I think I'm done making my movie. So let me just save this. I'm just going to call it movie. movie. Alright, so anyway. Then I go to that. Now this is where you get to watch all the stuff and uh, screen, and you can put it as a screensaver or print your picture out. So anyway, I'm going to watch it. Hello, I need it. So that's what you do there. And then if you go to screensaver, I really haven't done the screensaver yet. So I don't like that. So I'm just so if you don't like your video, you can just hit delete and your video is gone. So, that's the review of the um, Digital Blue. So, as I was saying, it's good for beginner movie makers, but if you're if you're a professional movie maker, you can get more advanced stuff like Vegas Pro and stuff. So anyway, see you next time.